When the news cycle is dark and heavy um, and you're scared of ChatGPT, we can all <laughs> use a boost of serotonin. For their more than 6 million followers, Toronto-based social media stars, The Basement Gang, are exactly that. Overnight, they dance their way to international fame. Okay, and watching these videos, you can understand why. We are <laughs> thrilled to have the stars of The Basement Gang with us here today. Kadeem Hemmings, Nate, uh, I know he goes by Nate, Nathaniel James officially, and Nicholas McDonald. Welcome all to the show. Welcome! Welcome to the show. Okay, so we're gonna start with this. I understand, Kadeem, that this, uh, The Basement Gang was actually created kind of like by accident? Yeah, totally accident. We didn't have any plans of like, posting like, like videos on TikTok or anything, so basically like, we just kind of hang out dance here and there in the basement, just, you know, just chill out, be friends. And then uh, one day we had a friend that recorded, like, the entire session of us dancing, and then just through boredom, like, random, I don't know what inspired it, I just cut it up and just put it on TikTok, and people enjoyed it. And... Okay, but you did that, but you didn't tell Nick. No, we didn't really tell. Like, so, was you, this the video, by the way? That's yeah. the video. That's the one. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so you, you wake up then, and there are hundreds and thousands yeah. of like comments. Everybody is. So, what are you feeling in that moment? I didn't. I was kind of shocked because when I woke up, I, the first thing I looked at my phone and I see them saying, "Check TikTok, check it, check it." So I check and I see a million views. So like at first I was like, I called them straight away, <laughs> and we were both just, we were all just like laughing on the phone, like what's going on. And then I ran to my mom, showed her, ran to my sister, <laughs> ran to my dad, and just showing everyone. Were they impressed? They were, <laughs> they yeah, were okay. shocked, just like, just like me. But that's how I was feeling. I was just really like shocked of the whole situation. Okay. Overnight fame. Overnight fame. Yeah. Okay, so Nate, um, you are now all produced. So it went from that to like, this is the thing now. You're now producing all kinds of content across all kinds of platforms. But you say that your social media like creation schedule, it's kind of like not the norm. So yeah. wh what does that mean? Uh, I feel like definitely most social media influencers, they do like every day, make as much content as you can, pump out content. And for us, it's kind of the opposite. Like our goal from the beginning has always been to keep it authentic. Okay. And authentic for us was meeting once or twice a week for like two, three hours. And sometimes like we won't even, we, we won't even record. Like we'll get together to record and be like, yo, do you guys want to do this right now? And we'll be like, nah, so we'll order food, play video games and then just chill. So That's it's, it's, yeah. <laughs> That's beautiful. Okay. Yeah. But you know what, Kitty, when it comes to creating social media content, you know, this, the key to success is finding a niche, like finding the thing that only you can do. So what would you say is your niche? Um, I don't know if we have like something to say specifically. I just feel like we just like to put out like, feel good content, mm -hmm. things that kind of like like lift up your day, kind of like brighten up your day and like get you the, like, the extra push you need to like, yeah. you know, make like work not as like, you know, boring. Yeah. So I, I feel like that's like kind of like what we kind of aim to was like towards to do. But is that's, it, that's what it is, right? A daily dose of serotonin? Yeah, exactly. is that kind of yeah. what you're doing? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, so uh, Nick, Kadeem, Nate, it's uh, really great to find out the background behind your success, but you're here and you do dances, so how could we not showcase <laughs> your skill, right? <laughs> Let's head over to the center of our studio. You three are known for dancing to every musical genre under the sun, and you make up your own choreography on the spot. So we thought we'd play a little game of basement improv <laughs> with you right here on the show. We're gonna give you a scenario, right? Okay. Then you're gonna pick one of the five boxes that show up on the board. Each one is a difficult, uh, different musical genre, and that's gonna determine the song you'll, you, you got to, you've got to dance to, okay? okay. Got it, does that yeah. make sense? Yeah. Yeah. All right, so here's the first scenario. You are auditioning for Beyonce the Queen's Renaissance World <laughs> Tour. Pick a box that will tell you the genre that you'll be using. Um, number two. Number two, okay. reveal please. <laughs> oh, okay. nice. Okay, okay, okay. Nice. All right, All right. ready? Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. Oh. Oh. Yeah, very nice, very nice. Okay, next scenario. Yes, the next scenario. Ready, everybody? Ready. Your ex just walked into the club. Oh, 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 what oh, box oh. number would you like to choose? 
four. Number four, four is pop. pop. Okay. All right, DJ, hit it. walks into the club. You play the Melissa's your ex. Melissa's your ex. Next scenario is basement dancing is now an Olympic sport. This is your addition to audition to represent Canada. Okay. So pick a box to see what genre you'll be doing to, to represent Canada. One. One. Let's see it. Okay, disco. Oh, disco. Okay. Come on. The games are on the line here, okay? okay. You, how are you getting to the Olympics? Yes, yes. Great. Do you know where you can find some equally good content? Our YouTube page. It's filled with discussions, debates, and some laughs. Head there now. Like and subscribe.